In this video, we're going to show you how to create the Market Center website. So the Market Center websites, the old ones are going away with eAgency and Playster. And we're going to build a brand new one that mirrors the agent sites. So if you are a tech coordinator, MCA, team leader, anybody in leadership, and you have access to the command for Market Centers, you will have an option to access sites for the Market Center level. So here I am, now I manage multiple offices, so I will have a drop down choosing each one. So if you happen to be part of multiple, this is how you would choose that. It takes about 30 seconds to a minute for the site to load because it's gathering all the information from several places like your broker, address, different things. So just give it a moment and it will load. Make sure you're in Google Chrome as the best tip. So then I'm going to come here to general information. Now it populated this information here of the address and then I made sure to choose doing business in and my state. By the way, if you do business in multiple states for your market center, you can choose a, multiple states. I added our phone numbers and our fax number. Um, I still need to look up our Google Analytics. I haven't put that in there. I did put a SEO description and it didn't save this time. So I will copy and paste that back in. I know we are still working on this tool. Um, I have the ability though to add that later. So I actually went to Google and got our old one and I'm gonna add that here. So I might do something like our phone number. So that way it's easy for people to see. And then saving a uh, real estate office brokerage helping our clients find homes in North Broward and Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Something like that. And then your SEO keywords like residential real estate, commercial real estate, etc. Commercial real estate. If you have an alternative website you want them to go to, maybe for recruiting or something, you can put that here. Now the broker was auto-populated, so that's one of those information data sets that I went and found. You have the ability to display logos on your website, so I wouldn't understand why we wouldn't do this, but you can turn on the one for Realtor and the um, Equality, Equal Housing Opportunity. And then you can add your DBA logo, Doing Business As logo. So I went ahead and uploaded that. If you need help downloading your logos, I'm happy to point you in the right direction on KB Connect. Then you're gonna get a list of leadership in your market center and you wanna check the box for the team leader. This is gonna put that person at the bottom of the website and they will be in the footer, just like the original sites had. Then you get to what we call a hero image. This is gonna be the image people see. Now, I'm in South Florida, so I'm pretty sure the fireplace and this style of home may not be exactly what we find down here. There was a third photo, I already deleted it because it was all brick, and a lot of our homes down here are not brick. However, it's your ability to upload up to six images. Now, the neat thing is, one of these images right here is a collage, so I created this in designs. In designs, we created six different hero images that you can create and put your own photos in and they're the right size and they're perfect. So check out our video on how to create a hero image. Here's the one that I had done. I already had a, a home that looks like something in South Florida. I added three location shots of our beach and our waterfront areas and the rest were lifestyle. So I thought what a unique way that if you came to our markets on a website to see lifestyle, location, and a bunch of information. So check out those. You can have up to six and it will do a slideshow. I don't actually want these other two, so I'm gonna delete them and really just have one right now. And then I have the ability to add more later. So you can do up to six. Then it's gonna ask you for your header. The header and subheader text appear over the hero image, meaning you're gonna have a picture and then the search bar above it. So I have search for your dream home here, and I could just say, um, do, do, do search by neighborhoods exclusively on our website. Something like that, because we have next door. Um, search header text area, not quite sure, I guess find your dream home again. And then you're gonna add the text about the market center. So you're gonna have a page about the market center. So I have our name here and I could just say, welcome to in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And then my body of the text can you say serving your South Florida real estate needs. Clearly we're gonna be playing around with those things. Um, if you have a image that you want above your market center description, you can add a picture here. It has to be less than one megabyte. 
Um, I'm going to get one of our market center and post it here. I have to go take that photo. So I have left it blank for now. And if you want it to link to another page or have it go somewhere like meet the office or meet our team or something, you can have it go to another page. Then it's gonna have about the area. So I have Greater Fort Lauderdale and surrounding neighborhoods. You can add your text. I copied this from our old site where we kind of shared some things of what we believe in. I also copied a second paragraph. Notice you're only allowed 280 characters. If you need a separate legal description besides the normal Keller Williams one, you can add that here. In our area, the legal footer that's already on the site is good enough. And then you have neighborhoods. You can enable this up to 12. I understand that there's going to be a lot more neighborhoods than 12, but this is what we're starting with. So some suggestions I heard from people, maybe target the higher end areas or what's your, um, where are you most dominant, right? What are the neighborhoods that we're number one in? And I'd put those neighborhoods in. So you can search by a neighborhood name. I've added a bunch of them here. I know I've also got Sea Ranch Lake, so I'm going to put that in as well. And there we go. That way I'm having multiple market center areas, neighborhoods. You can enable this and you also can turn it off. So let's say you're in an area where Nextdoor's boundary maps or Nextdoor data may not have that much information and you don't want to show neighborhoods. You just flip that switch and it won't show it. So if you're in a rural area, you can actually turn that off. Then your contact information. So if there's a lead that comes in, where do you want it to go? For now, I'm going to have it go to the front desk. However, most likely we'll have it go to our productivity coach so they can route leads or whatever your ALC votes for. Um, I recommend you might want to have this as a conversation with your ALC as well and your leadership team on what do we want to put in these boxes and where we want this lead to go. In the event you have a business center, there is the option to also choose your business center and set up that site and it will link it all together. And when you're done, you click save. Now today, uh, I've already saved it. Today, you're not going to see the preview of it. However, we are working on that and it will be coming out soon. So start filling this out. Get the information in here. If you need any help, let us know. Uh, make sure you also choose this little option. Just like with the agent sites, there's a toggle to make sure you want this displayed. So if I turn that on, it tells me, make sure you've got your DBA logos, and make sure you've got your ownership statement, compliance to local board. It's really kind of a warning to make sure, did you set this up for compliance? Because at the end of the day, Keller Williams is not responsible to verify the accuracy. So you acknowledge in turn, and this is when it will show up on your website when they go live. And then you click save here. And that will be it. Don't worry about the error message right now. I've already been in this. That's the ability to set it up. Add your sites. If you do multiple, you can switch between them. Like I said, it takes about 30 seconds for it to load because it's going to go to your white pages, multiple different sources to pull in as much data as possible. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Leave us a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, follow me on KB Connect or YouTube today.